kind of short. Let's look at the cars here, the punk shear. So real importantly, this column, I brought it up to you before, this column, this shape. See how it, it tapers off like that? Let me slip over a bit. So here we are with punk sh puncturing shear. And you see that bevel there? Uh, yeah. Okay, give me a minute. Thanks. I'm going to make this so. So uh, you can see the bevel is there. So there's our punk shear uh, break, uh, typical break. What I want you to notice is that these cars, though, minus they're sitting on the cars below, and maybe no cars here, maybe there are cars there, that they just drop straight down. So imagine the cars here as, oh, I, gotta, I have an image of that. So imagine, where are you, baby? So I zoom out. So imagine the cars as a punk shears. Uh, where's my leaning? Where's my leaning one? That's what it looks like through that, that type of setup. Here's my leaning one. I think I got a better picture of it. So there it is in color. Here it is in black and white. We'll take the black and white. So imagine it punks through that shape. It punctures around there. That that king falls through, but this side is anchored well. But it still takes compression on this side, puts tension over here, so it rips the underside of the deck a little bit, you know, to, to conform that shape. On this side, since it's bending inwards or towards this direction, it compresses that uh, concrete, um, blasting out the concrete, spalling it out, blasting it out. And this side is tension. Look at the pipe. There appears to be a pipe. And that shows you the direction of it. So it appears to be away from us, uh, you know, if I can get this image correctly. But there's the drape, how it failed and stopped it there, stopped it, stopped there about that line, that plane. Here's another version of that. It stopped there about this, that plane. I believe it's the same image, just flipped. So it's uh, there about that plane. It stops and then it, it reduces its ability to, to keep kicking ass, if you will. It's what I call equilibrium. It comes to equilibrium, where the amount of force it can still create has 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 reduced. It can't keep tearing it. There's no more slab that's connected. That it's shearing off instead of staying acting as one and dropping it all the way down. This probably they probably didn't let this concrete mature enough. Why do I say that? Because the concrete, because the deck below took the load of this one. So we see that shape there. But you see it also is on a slope as it punk shears. Huh. Well, isn't that something? So if it punk sheared over here on a slope, um, and then if we transfer that over here as a punk shear on a slope first, we would have cars slid down, right? They'd be on a, they'd be they would be on a slope. They would be butting each other bumper to bumper as this came down. You would see bumper to bumper. But it's like they parked here and the and the deck just collapsed, dropped down. Remember in the previous video, and I'm tying it all in for you guys, but previous video, we see that the deck, the garage parking, and this pool deck are one in the same. What I'm showing you, and there's a separation here, and the railings up here, is that this deck just dropped down, right about here. So I'm moving, on this side, it would be, it would, it would, if, it started, if it started this direction, it would create that drape effect, and then when it got here, it would still pull down, and we would have these cars shifting. So, what happens if we get this dropping down first, where the cars are with the load on them? Boom! They drop down. Now they pull sideways on these, and we and it was some torque action going on because we see this railing towards us. So a little bit of torque action going on, especially with the cars below it, creating that that rotation that we would need to brush and brush the back side of number 42. To brush the back side of number 42. And now where we go, we've got some, you know, possibly that column here pushed this car over a little bit, but not even touching it. They didn't even touch it. This dropped down. So we look back to this one. So this is where the cars come in. They're parked back there and we can't, we won't be able to see them. We won't be able to see it. This is new construction now. But the cars are back here. Here's the garage. Okay, let me come on. Well, let me go down. Wait, let me go down before. Okay, there we go. So there's where the cars are parked right here. And all this area here up to there just drops. Boom. It pulls down on the deck over here. And 
doing so, um, it takes, there's a column, there's some columns, if you remember, a couple of oddly placed columns. And I wouldn't say oddly placed, just, just not in line. Where are you? So these columns here, this is that brushing we talk about. That brushing there, there's the brushing there. So that, what, what, let me just, let me just cut this video short and just, again, come back to this. Is that we get all these cars, these cars were not on an angle. So this failing first would have worked its way over like a, like that drape that we saw in the image, that I showed you in the images on Google here. Yeah. On Google here, like a drape. And those cars would have slid down had it worked that way and worked its way over. We do not have these cars sliding over to each other. We have them just dropping straight down. I think we have our puncture beginning of our deck failure of this entire system right here. Right here. We don't have these cars. They look like they parked in their spots. So I would say we have our beginning of our failure right here. Literally right here. And the deck being connected. This is the other video. I'm tying it in now. However, it's, it continued, its failure was in a twisting, torquing motion. This would allow for all this popping that we see of the, of the, uh, of the uh, pad here and the rotation of it, like a wave effect. But I think the wave started first from this decking here falling flat. I don't think the wave started here and came over, came over, hit this, and then decided somehow it's going to jump, not create a wave from here to here to here. That it's going to do, that it's going to hit this area and be able to pull these all down at one shot. The direction of the rebar being down like this indicates that this just drops straight down. On a draping, if it dropped like a drape on an angle, first off the cars would slide into each other. But we would see the rebar in a direction of this this uh, angle, if you will. Um, we have the angle of we can't t determine the angle of most of this stuff because. It looks like at this point we have some torque and it just punched through and rotated over equally. See how it's rolled rolled over? Rolled over. It's a different connection. This is deck on top. This is deck supporting on the face. So not to be confused with deck on top. So pool deck on top of these piers. This is decking, same decking, transferring over but anchored to the face, the side of it. The, again, the draping effect as it starts from there and, and falling down. That would seem like that would be a nice little shear plane, but no, I, I'd like to see this column here and the one behind it is this one right in front of us. As you see this one in front of us, you see the rebar bent over, and yet we have this car in, this car in nice condition. Again, it's probably sitting on top of a, a beam or a car below it, but nevertheless, I think that this is where our punk shear started, right here with these cars being a great indicator, being parked just where they were... This, just when they pulled in that night to park, and they fell down. And there's the railing here, still intact, as this deck separated down there, and then started this progressive collapse of the rest of the decking over to here. With that said, here's another one. I would have, remember I said I would have died looking for the uh, tape measure? Let's say if I was trying to escape this building, I would have died looking for my keys. You know, I hang my keys up, but damn if I uh, don't hang them up all the time. Let's see if they're next to me. Nope, can't prove it this time, but... I, I, I would die probably looking for my keys so I can get my car and leave. All right. Um, this video, again, was about showing you that I believe this is our epicenter now, that we have a new epicenter of the beginning of the collapse here. And take care, guys, and you can run this past your, your, uh, your brain calculator if you like, but these cars are very telling that there was no drape action over here, but drape action took over, took, happened over here, Specifically with the grinding that you can see on the back side will tell you how it torqued. Oh, I wanted to show you this. This is how you can find a, a floor scan of finding steel and, um, and, and a floor that's so deep. Bosch makes one of them at a reasonable price right now. Right now you can buy this for $6.99 on eBay. Value savings of $772.58. Shop now. Um, anyway. So there's our drape action going on. Puncture, drape, drape. Now this would puncture through, but it did not. There's no extra. It's a corner. So here, it's, it's two sides of the drape. There's being the corner. It didn't have the extra load out. Pull it down around the uh, around this uh, column. That's probably why you see it on an angle there. All right. Take care, guys. Hope this was helpful.
hope we're now surrounding it. So right now I'm trying, I have a conclusive file, my, my um, bias, and so I'm working on trying to disprove my bias. And so 